today we're going to show you how to connect the Quadic 7 smartwatch to the force and force crack controlling motor. For this process, we will need the Quadic 7, Garmin trolling motor, and the wireless floating remote. First, make sure the Quadic 7 software is up to date. Connect the Quadic 7 to the Garmin Connect app on your phone or the Garmin Express app with a computer to check for the latest software update. The Garmin trolling motor will also need to be updated to the latest software version. Software will need to be updated through the Active Captain app. Follow the on-screen link for more help with software updates for the Garmin trolling motor. Then ensure the remote is powered on and connected to the trolling motor. Next, from the watch face, press and hold the up button to access settings. Scroll using the down button and select sensors and accessories. Scroll and select trolling motor. Select add new, then follow the on-screen instructions. Press the power button on the trolling motor three times to enter pairing mode. Then select the green check mark on the Quadic 7 using the start stop button to begin the pairing process. Confirm the pin number on the Quadic 7 and wireless remote mat. Select Start on the Quadic 7. Next, select the right arrow on the wireless remote. Now, let's add the trolling motor to your activity list. Press and hold the middle button to access Settings. Scroll down and select Activities and Apps. Scroll and select Trolling Motor. Now scroll down and select Set as Favorite. You can use the up and down buttons to move the trolling motor in your favorites list. Select the green check mark and navigate back to the main watch face. Then select the start stop button to access your activity list. Scroll down and select trolling motor. The trolling motor display will now show on the Quadix watch. You can adjust the throttle control, steer direction, and cruise control with your Aquatic 7. Use the up and down buttons to navigate each control. Select the start stop button to make the adjustment. Select the back button when you are finished adjusting settings. Turning on cruise control will take the current SOG or speed over ground and stay at that current speed. Cruise control speed can only be adjusted from the wireless remote control. The Quadic 7 will only turn cruise control on or off. Anchor lock can be activated from the Quadic 7. Select the start stop button to activate it. Some trolling motor settings can be accessed from the Quadic 7 watch. Pressing and holding the middle button on the Quadic 7 will navigate you to these options. You can change units for distance and speed, miles per hour, kilometers, and nautical miles. Accent color can be changed to display the activities in certain colors to your liking. The trolling motor activity can also be renamed in the trolling motor settings. And that's it. Thanks for watching. For more help, please visit marinesupport.garmin.com.